Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and it's time for our monthly series of what was the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine throughout the entire month of June. Now, during this current bear market, it has shaken up profits, it has shaken up every single cryptocurrency. Profits are down. Miners who may have gotten to the game late or have just sold their hardware and got out of it, or big operations have to either scale up or scale down to kind of stay in that profit margins. At-home miners are probably shutting down their rigs during the peak power where you're paying the most for your electricity and then kick it back on during the evening. All of us are having to be creative and make adjustments as it goes. But at the end of June, Ethereum had a update where they delayed the difficulty bomb. And what we saw was the hash rate kind of stayed similar, but it was on a downturn anyways. The difficulty dropped down and thus we gain additional profits. And what I mean by that is say my rigs, for example, was earning on average every 24 hours about 0.017 ethereum and now it's up to 0.023 of course now more miners get on the scene uh that increases the difficulty decreasing the profits for all of us but i did see a 25 to 30 percent increase in ethereum profits and the reason i'm bringing that up is because if you have the 3060 which is what this series is based on six 3060s from nvidia's again uh against the amd side rx 6600 xt because those are the most budget oriented cards um, and you can see Ethereum is lost its number one spot. It's actually been like that for quite some time now. And other cryptocurrency have taken that number one spot. But depending on the card, right, 3060 Ti, 3080, Ethereum is still very much more profitable than the other cryptocurrencies. So it really depends. But for our data, it's 3060s against RS 6600 XTs. And Ethereum is kind of wavering. But when they did the delay of the difficulty bomb, Ethereum profitability went up does bringing it back up closer to that number one spot, if not taking over that number one spot. So moving on, the data that we have here, the top 10 most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine throughout the month of June were Conflux, Ravencoin, Xano, Ciro, Ethereum, Ergo, Eternity, Cortex, Ethereum Classic, and Fero, with Flux kind of falling off, uh, still being close to that top 10, but not in it. Uh, as well for me in my area, because my cost of electricity, uh, Flux is still very much profitable to mine, just not as profitable. And I know many miners always point to whatever the most profitable is because they want to stack as much as possible, convert it to fiat, pay their bills, what have you. Uh, for me, I like to focus on just stacking as much as that uh, of said cryptocurrency for a future turn in or profit taking. Moving on to AMD, we got the top 10 are Ethereum, Ravencoin, Cortex, Ethereum Classic, Firo, Flux, Ryo, Ergo, Vertcoin, and Conceal. Now, Vertcoin is a coin that's been around for uh, quite a while. It's an OG coin. It has fallen out of favor, at least in the profitability range, but it's starting to come back up into the game. Um, if you had an AMD or an NVIDIA mix rig, the top four cryptocurrencies that I would say you want to focus on possibly mining is Ethereum, Ravencoin, Ethereum Classic, and Ergo. Because you can see here on NVIDIA side, Ergo is kind of middle of the road. On the AMD side, it's a little bit towards the, the tail end of the, the middle of the pack. Then, uh, of course, uh, we got Ethereum, which even though on this chart shows fourth right now, again, because of the profits uh, increase, because the difficulty bomb was delayed, it has certainly climbed back up. So it would be at least in the top three most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine. And then on the AMD side, it is the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine. Uh, then beyond that, we got Ravencoin doing really good in that second spot on both nvidia and amd and then of course ethereum classic while it's not as profitable on nvidia uh it is very profitable on the amd so on a mixed rig setup those are my top four coins that is the data for both nvidia and amd i could say uh, as far as my rigs and my setup because i do have them kind of separated amd all one rig and then two nvidia rigs uh the profits have uh increased quite drastically and it's definitely a much needed uh, situation now we're still in a bear market we're still going to continue to see some pain in the market so the best thing i can say for you is you know keep your head down keep stacking sacks and uh guay but for many users that just sold their hardware and got out of the game i completely understand where you're coming from many of you are paying 30 you know 25 cent 30 cent 44 cent per kilowatt hour in your countries and that's quite unfortunate and super expensive and thus making mining not profitable for you in your area uh, so I understand it's the name of the game. This is not the first bear market we'll be through. This will not be the last bear market that we'll be through. It's all about how you adjust, how you adapt, and how you get over 
this certain situation because cryptocurrency in my mind my opinion is not going anywhere so play it for the long game don't play it for the short game even though the short game you're probably using what you earn to help pay your bills your overhead whatever it may be but that is the data for june please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here like the dogelord.com where you get a sweet serpent x hat and much more and i hope you guys have a wonderful day take care of yourselves be safe i'll catch you next one see us.